So, I have returned today with the anime Keiju, because you've got to ex you've got to express those damn exclamation marks in that name, because there's a fracking load of them. Like, I think there's about six or seven. Like, there's a load of ex... There we are. My YouTube just kicked in. There we are. So, yes, Keijo, the anime, <laughs> other than Yuri and Ice, I have been most looking forward to, because, holy freaking hell, the PVs. Oh man, the PVs. They 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 do hold a lot of treasure. Oh my god. I just I I, I can't express my own opinion on it because I actually read some of the manga as well. And holy freaking Christ, it gets interesting. Like it's think of it as the world that Kiyoshi envisioned in good old prison school, like in the world where arses are the main focal point, as well as boobs, because boobs and arses are the main focal point in the series. But if I was gonna if I was gonna sum up this whole entire anime in one sentence, and it's probably gonna be a really obscure reference because it's very kind of 90-ish 2000s, is if you ever watch that show, Gladiators. Like you ever watch that show Gladiators and you actually remember that one game where they had to actually kind of bite each other off with a mash of sticks? Think of it as that, but without the sticks. It's just that without the sticks, and they just like use their boobs and asses. And it's kind of like I'm sold. I'm freaking sold. This is what I needed in anime. I needed a game in which, well, an anime in which a game that portrays the events of two girls having to actually butt each other off using their own butts and boobs. What more can you ask for in life? Like, literally, what more can you need? This is literally top tier anime. This is what this is what this is what we needed. This is like nothing else means anything yet besides this one show. Man, oh bloody man, Keijo. Like, from the synopsis, it looks interesting. Like, it looks interesting. The family's, her family's poor, so she actually goes into this, like, kind of game called Keijo, which is where they actually have to, like, as you, as you probably know, onto the water platform. And yeah, like, kind of beat each other off. It's that kind of thing. But she's actually, her family's hot up for money, so she she's very freaking good at what she does, but she changes to go into Keijo. I was like, oh, huh, well, you know, that's actually kind of interesting. But... Without further ado, because I'm delaying me watching this anime, because slightly, I'm slightly, slightly kind of don't know what to expect. L literally, I just don't know what to, what I'm gonna get myself into. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be an interesting ride. Like I must say, it's gonna be one of those animes I probably will not forget for a very long time because it's it's an anime where people hit each other with, with their own boobs and arse, and the manga does actually show this to, an ex to a T. Like, I mean, there was there was one there was one panel which had booby attack, like final booby attack. I was like, well, freaking out. <laughs> I don't need anything else in life. I don't. Literally, I freaking don't because this is this hit. This is this hit top tier. But without further ado, do we are starting. I thought the like, case I was going past again. I was like, freaking out. Every single damn day. Without further ado, we start this stream in three, two, one. Let's bloody go. Okay, they already started off. For, they already started off ten out of ten. First battle between the boobs and butt continues. Oh yeah, side note, guess who's also one of the voices in this anime? Um, Amelia from ReZero. She's actually one of the voices of the characters. I was like, See, me being an arse man, this anime mini gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Like, it's just immediate 10. Like, it just doesn't need anything else. I enjoy this. Even the opening just, just basically gives you the good stuff. If 
if I'm correctly, Amelia Voice is the girl with the yellow outfit. I don't remember the life of me which one it is, but she voices her. That's where I was like, wow. Yeah, is that her? I know it's her, I think. This is an ass man's dream, isn't it? This is one of those animes you didn't you didn't need made, but you're so glad it got made. That's all I can. That's that's the best. That's the best way I can sum this whole entire anime series. Is it's that show that you didn't need right now, but you're just, you're actually happy it's there. That's how you end an. That's how you end an opening. That is how you bloody end it. Like all. Oh. <laughs> Zebek, you top tier anime she did today. Me lie, but the art style is actually quite nice. I quite like the art style. It's pretty freaking awesome. I guess she's very popular. <laughs> Wait, is that her name? Her name's Kawaii. That's interesting. First thing I thought her name was Kawaii. I thought... That's Kawaii, okay. I get it. I get, I get. Oh, okay.
I like this. I like this. This is going places, and I like it. I'm 10 out of 10 right now. It's not doing anything wrong for me. You get more Mio. Like, we need more Mio already. We need her. She is... She's a definite... She's definitely 10 out of 10. Damn. Even the cinematographer knows what he's doing. Like, even the guy that does all the frames, he knows what he needs to focus fo fo I can't speak. I was too transfixed by the ass. He knows what he needs to focus on. He needs to focus on the ass, and he's doing it. Good for him. Good for him. It's like a fun game, Total Wipeout as well. So it feels like. Kind of hope it's actually not censored. That's the other thing to know. It's kind of wondering not to be censored. I probably might cry. Oh my god. Yes. It's happening. We've hit it. We've hit the top tier. We've done it. <laughs> oh god, what the hell am I watching? This is gonna probably be one really tense anime. You know that. Oh god. This is the kind of world I want to live in. Not gonna lie. If I get a, if I get a genie one day and he says, "What's your first, <laughs> what's your first wish?" It's if Kajo can actually exist. I want Kajo to exist. 
or never in the world where it, that that actually is a thing. That actually is primary thing in the universe. <laughs> oh my god. Basically, she's Yondere Ass Girl. That's what we're going to call her from now on. The Yondere Ass Girl. She knocked her out. She straight up knocked her out with her ass. I kid you not. This is actually happening. This is a thing. She had her she had a face in her ass. This isn't the kind of conversation I expected from anime, but I'm glad it's happening. I'm so glad it's actually was this is actually is a thing. Oh my god, this is all great together. I think we found it. It's happening. This is the most. This is the most tensest fight between two boobs I've seen in my lifetime. Actually, four boobs when you think about it. This is actually, dare I say it, titillating. There you are, pump of the day. She's gonna go in hard and knock her out. I like it. <laughs> the strangest thing is, the animation's really good. I was not expecting it. She's straight. I don't think artists can possess that much power, but apparently they can. Oh no! She's gonna. She's, she's gonna ask her way back out of it. Basically, someone's gonna come up to her and say, "Put your ass into it, girl." And then, yeah, it happens after that point.
I still never expected this anime to be like this, but this is, I'm so glad. I'm so freaking glad. Oh, man. I like her motivation. Second half, the episode was over. I was like, "Freaking out! It's already over." Don't, 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 no, don't end there. I need to, I need to know. I need to see the ass. It's already getting better. Yeah, do you know, really, when you think about it, is it actually going to be the anime of very much Wafu Wars? Because no one, no one will know who the best girl is, and then we'll be fighting each other. It's a, a bit of talk of Reddit. This is going to be the new ReZero weekly. I can't really tell. You got your Mios, you got your Albas, you got. You just, you just don't know who's the best girl. They're going to be fighting each other. It's going to be complete all out war.
Damn. <laughs> That's the end. We hit the end of first episode of Keijo. I don't even know what to make of it. <laughs> like, it just. I just I have no words. He just knows what he needs to do and does it freaking damn well. Is what I got to say. That's my that's my first impression. It's it's a lot of hey look, White Fox is also working on his anime as well. That just makes it ten times even better. Basically, it's just ass and boobs and stuff. Girl, girl, girls and ass and boobs, and that's all I need. We've. I, I don't need anything else in life. This is it. We've hit it. We've hit pinnacle. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what anime can go from here. Like we just okay. So we've had we've had guts level tragedy in ReZero, and now we're having people fight with their asses and boobs. It's like that's what I would. It's like that's like I guess that's the thing I was missing in um, free. The fact that of just women, like, and now it's basically onto that. It's quenched that thirst, and it's doing a pretty good job of it. Nothing these cuts going past. Yeah, pretty much. I just don't know what else to say. Like, all I can say is I'm looking forward to see what happens next. <laughs> the clouds in the shape of an ass. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. There are too many th thumbnails in this episode that you could use. There's too many. Like, there's too many thumbnails. This anime really is anime the thumbnail. Because you could just go for anything, you could choose whatever you want. Cause it's just, it's just a heaping amount. I don't know, but I just, oh, just I don't know. I really don't. All I can say is that was twenty-five minutes well spent. My, my, my brain was inherently grateful for this anime to be, to exist. That's the main thing I take away. It's very grateful. It needs it needed this kind of anime. It's a nice break from most shows that come out. Like excuse me. This is a very it's very different. Very freaking different. Like, okay, so what we've had this whole entire year, we've had again, we've had um people interact with different worlds and then going through mass amount of tragedy, mass amount of death. We've had try and travel animes, which turned to be kind of crap in the end. We've also had, we also had the end of uh, Naruto practically. And now we have this. It's actually been a pretty freaking good year for anime when you think about it. Like this is a pretty freaking dank year for anime. I did, did I just say that? I didn't freaking know. My brain just, my brain just, it's a pretty good year is what I was trying to say for anime. God damn. Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just the super move names. The super move names are the one. Is a, the super move names are the things that gets me the most. It's just so freaking amazing. I just I don't know where to go next. Another thing to note is I don't think ever in the episode does she mention she she. I know she went. She mentions that she was going. To, she wants to become the richest person that does Keijo in Japan. But I don't think she mentions the fact that she came from a poor upbringing. I'm not too sure. I might have missed it, but I don't think she mentions it. Because in the synopsis, it says she's doing it because her family is poor. So as much as the richest um, Keijo uh, player in Japan, but I think she's also doing it for her family. I'm not too sure if or not it mentions it in the actual show itself, because, I don't know, it's one of those things, I, I don't know whether or not I brushed over it completely and just missed the little subtitle thing that said it, or it's actually never mentioned at all, I just don't know, but it's one of the other plot points I actually know about this anime, the fact that she came from a poor upbringing. Also, the fact that there's a lot of different dialects in that, in that episode as well. In essence, it kind of feels like a lot like um, Flying Witch when the actual uncle comes into the picture. He has this really, really thick dialect, and it and the subtitles change constantly. It feels like that a lot because you had the, you had it with Nozomi, which her dialect is quite like a lot of things get abbreviated and stuff like that. And you had the normal kind of normal kind of subtitles after that. It kind of it's kind of like a nice contrast. If that makes any sense, like it's just a nice contrast. It's one of those things that I don't even know if that made any sense. I just, my brain is completely frazzled by the amount of boobs and asses I just witnessed because, go freaking hell! I mean, the the frames know what they need to focus on, and they focus on it pretty freaking damn well. Full on, straight on that ass. I was like, and no, and not one girl in the whole entire show did not have a nice ass. I was like, man, every single one of the people in this show have impeccable asses. Like they had like top tier asses, some that some that would rival the best asses in the business. 
I mean, this might just be 10 out of 10 just for the ass. But we have to see what happens with the boobs next because I don't know what's going to... I, don't, I, I just don't know. I don't know what to expect next anymore. It's just, it's just like, it's just... It's just this. This is it. This is top tier anime. It's like literally it's come to the point of I don't think we'll ever find something better than this. All right, do come back to me next week and tell me if there actually is anything better than this because I will fight you to the to the end of time that this is the best anime ever created. Like it just is. It just literally is. Just oh man, oh man. I don't know what to expect next. Like, I think there's a shoujo anime next that I'm kind of surprised about, so I want to see where that goes. <laughs> Nothing's going to be Keijo. Nothing's ever going to be Keijo. Keijo's going to be that one thing I look forward to every single down week besides Yuri and Ice. It's just... Man. Man. Oh, bloody man. So, with all that said, I have indeed been a driver. We have enjoyed the live stream as a bloody hole, and you do want to leave a like. Do you leave a like, because indeed... It does help me quite a bit. We have enjoyed my content as a whole, and you do want to leave a sub. Do leave a sub because indeed it does help me quite a bit, and we're almost to 500 subs. We need 12 more to get there. So, if you find your heart to leave a sub, do leave a sub because again, it does help me quite a bit. But with all that said, I've indeed been the driver, and I shall see you guys next time. See you guys then. Bye for now.